Have you ever wanted to knit faster? I'll be comparing continental knitting, which is the knitting style most people prefer, to English knitting, which is the other method, to find out which style is faster. I'll do this by knitting a sock to test out each style. So one sock will be knit entirely in continental, and the other one will be knit entirely in English. I need a new pair anyways because the ones I always wear around the house all the time are super worn down. Make a quick prediction between which style you think I will knit faster with. Let me know in the comments down below. I think this will be fun to see if you were correct or not. I'll be timing all of my knitting to make sure I get the most accurate results. I'll stop the timer whenever I'm not actively knitting or if I'm doing something that just doesn't involve knitting the project. This includes measuring, pausing to read the pattern, or trying on the piece. The first sock is going to be knit in English style. So just a little bit of background on how I knit. I can knit both continental and English. English knitting, however, is my dominant style, and it was the technique I learned first. The usage between the two techniques may depend on the pattern or the fabric I'm trying to produce. So for example, if it's a plain stockinette pattern, then I prefer to use English knitting because I have more even tension with this style. But if it's a pattern with a mixture of knits and purls, then I'll use continental knitting because I find it easier to switch between the knits and purls. After I completed the ribbing at the cuff, I switched to slightly larger DPNs and continued knitting in stockinette. I deliberately chose a basic sock pattern so I could focus on keeping a continuous pace. I thought this would be the fairest way to approach the comparison because the goal is to focus on how fast each technique is.
technically the knitting styles are doing the same thing where the needle is going in and out, grabbing the yarn and making a stitch. You might think there is no real defining difference between these two knitting styles because they do produce the same results. On paper though, continental is considered faster and maybe even the superior method because its motions reduce the amount of work you need to do and prevents fatigue of the hands. When you knit continental, the yarn is held in the left hand, so when you knit, you pick at the yarn with the needle. There's less steps and minimal movement because the yarn and needles are already so close to each other. So the steps are like this. You insert and pick pretty much at the same time, then you create a stitch, and then you slide the stitch off. With English knitting, the yarn is held in the right hand, and when you knit, you throw the yarn over the needle. There's more steps to this method and more movement. In a way, it looks a little faster because the fingers are moving around a lot, but continental is more efficient. The steps for English knitting are like this. You insert, throw the yarn, create a stitch, and then slide off. So then, why did continental produce a slower time? Here's what I think about knitting faster. You don't need to use continental knitting to knit faster. If your goal is to knit faster, then I would say the fastest knitting method is the one you feel most comfortable with. The reason is because your hands will naturally find its rhythm. Of course, you can get really good at knitting with both styles, but there will always be a more intuitive form you gravitate to. I think this is really important to acknowledge because despite what I kept hearing and seeing about how fast Continental is, my personal results showed otherwise.